25 degrees or something but you know it's sunny so why not go outside so today's video is all about one of Newcastle's most impressive bits of infrastructure and that is the Tyne pedestrian and cycling tunnels so we're on our way there now and we're gonna show you some shots of the outside and the inside and sort of the history behind this The Tyne Cyclist and Pedestrian Tunnel opened in 1951 as Britain's first purpose-built cycling tunnel. It runs under the River Tyne between Howden and Jarrow. This consists of two tunnels running parallel, one for pedestrians and another for cyclists. These lie 12 metres below the riverbed of the Tyne. When this first opened, it was used by 20,000 people a day. However, nowadays it's more like 20,000 people a month. The structure is a Grade 2 listed building which has reopened in recent years after a lengthy refurbishment. What the tunnels provide is a connection to cycle routes on both sides of the river. Back in 1951 when this opened, the Tyne Car Tunnel had not yet opened and therefore this was an important link for workers living and working on either sides of the river. The set up is pretty uh, basic, but it fits your bike in. The incline lifts have not been working and I think they're missing a part. This project has been I think millions of pounds overdue, so... Uh... The entrance bit um this is all listed building and i believe as well in front of me um is the wooden escalators and they're part of the listing too obviously most places have um removed the wooden escalators fire hazards i think london one of the underground stations had a fire hazard with wooden escalators ever since then most of the uk have just got rid of them but it's part of the listing so i think they're retained here I'm not sure if there's an aspiration to get that running again, but there's gonna be an incline lift. So you don't have to take the actual vertical lift down. You'll be able to load here with your bikes and your wheelchairs, etc. And then just behind me is the pedestrian tunnel. So as you can see, there's two separate tunnels, one for each. This Jarrow end, um, pretty much the same. Only real difference is the crest of Durham on the wooden escalator compared to the crest of Northumberland on the other side of the river. But again, identical sort of setup. My favorite thing is the tiles. I, I love the tiles. Another thing, it's always really cold down here. So as I said today, it's about 25 degrees. But when you come down here, it must be 12 or something. It's like a chiller, because you've got all that obviously underneath so much. It's real nice. Tyne tunnel. Um, there's also a Tyne road tunnel as well, but obviously you can't cycle through that. But yeah, it's just like a great piece of cycle infrastructure to have in Newcastle. You might be thinking, Jordy, we've watched the video now. You've gone down, you've seen the Tyne tunnel. What, what, why did you keep the video going? Well, I've cycled this way. And if I cycle any amount of distance like this in this heat, I'm going in the sea. So I'm gonna go down the fish key, hurl myself in the water, and get some fish and chips to reward myself for hard work.
right. Join us next time when I do whatever I feel like doing next.